tonight on Size Eyes on the Skies. A little cooler across the state today. Will it continue? I'll have more on that later on. Plus, Caleb Wood is in the studio for your national forecast. All that and much more as this edition of Size Eyes on the Skies starts right now. It's Monday night on ISU TV, broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. ISU TV's longest running television program brings you the weather from around the country to the heart of Iowa. The ISU Meteorology Department team of forecasters keep you ahead of the storm. From Iowa's most trusted weather team, this is Size Eyes on the Skies. Welcome back to Size Eyes. I am joined here now by Dylan. Dylan, we had quite a uh, heat wave almost yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, it was a little warm out there yesterday, but it's cooled down a little bit now. So We can bring back out our sweaters, I'm hoping, right? Oh, yeah. Not much of a sweater fan, but... So, looking at tomorrow, we're looking at 50 degrees at 8 a.m. tomorrow and 62 at noon. 4 p.m., we're at 66. We got more clouds today, but pretty much the same temperatures around here. Thank you. Now, I will tell you guys the weather story. On this day in weather history in 1950, the last three weeks of October saw several periods of unusual warmth, with Iowa City reaching 94 degrees Fahrenheit on the 18th, the highest temperature recorded in Iowa that month. Columbus Junction, Keosauqua, Mount Pleasant, Oskaloosa, Toledo, and Williamsburg each reached above 90 degree temperatures as well. And now, here's Caleb with your national. Hey guys. Fall is here, but winter is coming on the way. I'll show you where coming up. Welcome back to Size Eyes. Caleb, is there anything exciting going on around the country? There's always something exciting going on around the country, Caitlin. So if we, look, take, if we take a look around the nation today, we can see a tale of two cities, pretty much. In the, on the eastern side of the country, we have temperatures in the 80s, even close to 90 in Dallas, whereas on the west, uh, western side of the country, we have temperatures up in the 50s and 60s. So as we zoom into the northeast, we have 78 in Syracuse, 74 down in D.C., but as we move up towards Maine, we have 53 up in Augusta and 61 in Boston. So there's definitely a temperature gradient going on in the Northeast right now. As we take a look at the Southeast, we have 84 degrees in New Orleans, 79 in Little Rock, and 80 up in Atlanta. So it's still summer like temperatures down there as well. As we move to the Southwest, 89 is sunny in Phoenix, 81 in Las Vegas, but it's sunny 69 in Santa Monica. So as we move further towards the coast, the, the cooler you get because of the ocean breeze. And as we go to the northwest, it's the best, this is the best section of the country so far, I think. 57 in Seattle, 60 down in Salem. And as we move towards the mountains, 49 in Boise. That's my kind of weather that they're experiencing right there. And as we come back home here, we have 69 in Des Moines, a sunny 73 down in Kansas City, and 63 in North Platte. So pretty seasonal temperatures for this time of year, maybe a touch on the warm side. As we take a look at our current clouds and radar, we can see this cold front coming from uh, Illinois and Indiana and moving to the southeast uh, as we see the evidence of clouds and rain. And as we take a look at the Rocky Mountains over in the west coast, or in the west uh, interior, we have rain, but even a patch of blue snow up in uh, Idaho and the mountains of Wyoming near Yellowstone National Park. As we take a closer look, we can see that snow is more evident down uh, crossing into Montana and Idaho right now with scattered rain showers along the coast by Seattle and Salem again. Typical northwest uh, weather. As we take a look at our current watches and warnings, we have a freeze watch highlighted by the blue boxes in southern Colorado, some red flag warnings down in uh, the Las Vegas area as well as southern Colorado, and even a winter weather advisory up near Yellowstone National Park. So it's only mid-October, but uh, winter is coming on the way pretty soon. And we still have some remnants of uh, flooding 
due to Hurricane Matthew last week down in the Carolinas where they had a very tough time last week due to the hurricane passing through. And as we take a closer look again, so places like Charleston down there uh, on the border of North, North and South Carolina, as well as close to the Outer Banks and, and interior North Carolina, still de dealing with the flooding that occurred due to Hurricane Matthew last week. As we take a look at our future cast model here, we can see that cold front coming, uh, stretching from Canada all the way down towards St. Louis. Now progress towards the East Coast as we go into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, I expect some more cloud cover over Iowa. And again, a few snow showers in Montana and Wyoming will persist. And as we go throughout the day tomorrow, some uh, rain showers back in central and southern Illinois. But Iowa, we should remain dry except the far uh, northwest corner near Lamar is where my roommate's from. And as we go into Thursday morning, rain intensifies in the Ohio and Michigan area down into southern Indiana, whereas we have a clear patch of weather down in the uh, Four Corners region as well as the southwest. And as we continue through Thursday, we clear out here in Iowa, but another, the next cold front keeps going all the way from the northeast to the southeast uh, region of the country. Highest tomorrow. We're looking pretty warm in the southeast at 85 in Atlanta, 86 down in Miami, a little more mild, 64 down in St. Louis, 60 up in Chicago. But again, the northwest where we want to be right now, 58 up in Billings and 62 in Denver. So the northwest is beautiful this time of year. As we take a look at our forecast city for this week, we have Los Angeles, California, where the Chicago Cubs are playing the Dodgers. It's going to be a hot one in this next couple of days, the highs in the mid-90s and sunny skies. But next week looks a little more seasonable as we cool down. Thank you, Caleb. Now let's take a look at tonight's trivia question. What is the wettest city in the United States? Is it A, Hilo, Hawaii, B, Seattle, Washington, C, Annette Island, Alaska, or D, Palm Beach, Florida? We'll have your answer for that coming up soon. And now we have Dylan for, the, for your Iowa forecast. Looking at the headlines for the next few days here, we got average temperatures across the state, little to no precip, and nice fall weather. Uh, more about that coming up after the break. Looking at the current conditions right now here in Ames, you got 67 degrees with light winds from the west-northwest at 7 miles an hour and our dew point at 47 degrees. Looking at the current temperatures here around Iowa, we got 64 in Sioux City and Council Bluffs. You got 63 in Fort Dodge, 67, 69 in Des Moines. And pretty much the same all across the state. We're all pretty much in the mid to upper 60s. Looking at the winds, we pretty got calm winds here across north central, central, south central Iowa. Then we're looking up here in the northwest. Sioux City's got a little stronger winds at 12 miles an hour. Looking at the current radar, there's really not much to see. A little bit of clouds pretty much from I-80 up north all the way up to pretty much I-90 up towards the Iowa border up in Minnesota. Looking at future cast, we got some clouds coming in here in southern Iowa. Skipping ahead here a little bit. We're looking at some more clouds coming in tomorrow morning. Going to be a lot more clouds out there today than there, tomorrow than what there was today. And even a little bit of rain out here in, West, in Nebraska. I'm not sure if that's going to make it all the way here into Iowa though. So looking ahead to Thursday morning, we got still got clouds pretty much across draped across the state. Lows tonight, we're looking at 46 up here in Sioux City, 49 in Council Bluffs, 47 up in Fort Dodge, 49 in Des Moines, 49 in Ottumwa, 48 over here in Davenport. It's a pretty comfortable night all across the state out there. Looking at our highs for tomorrow, still in the 60s like today. We got 62 in Sioux City. 67 in Council Bluffs, 67 in Des Moines, 68 here in Ottumwa, 69 over in Davenport. Wouldn't doubt if I got up to 70 over there in Davenport, 65 up in Mason City. Pretty nice day out there. Looking at your highs for Thursday, we're going to cool down a little bit here across the state. We got 57 up here in Sioux City, 58 down here in Council Bluffs, 55 up in Waterloo, 58 over here in Davenport. A little bit of a cool day out there, if I say so myself. Looking at the forecast for tonight, we got 44 degrees for a low temperature. Mostly clear out there tonight with a calm wind. Then looking at tomorrow, more of the same as today. 67 with mostly cloudy skies. Comfortable day out there overall, though. 
But looking at our extended forecast, we see 60s pretty much every day for the next week besides Tuesday where we will be in the 50s. What is the wettest city in the United States? Is it A, Hilo, Hawaii, B, Seattle, Washington, C, Annette Island, Alaska, or D, West Palm Beach? Spoiler alert, it might be A. I was going to think Seattle, Washington, I mean, it's my forecast, but I well, guess I was proven wrong. I mean, in Seattle, it makes sense because people see it as like the rainy city and right. cloudy and all that, but uh, that's not actually not true. It's actually Hawaii, Hilo, Hawaii. Uh, their average actually is 127 inches of rain per year, and their wettest wow. year was actually 212 inches of rain in one wow. year. Wow. So can't even imagine that here in Iowa, not we're so much. We're looking a little bit of the opposite here yeah, in Iowa, right? Yeah, that'd be a lot of rain to put up with, especially this time of year. We're Even lucky we haven't been flooding. too wet. Definitely, it would be some extreme flooding. Well, yeah. they say that the cause for that much rain in Hawaii is because of the high moisture in the air there from the north, uh, from the northeasterly trade wind coming off the ocean. So, I mean, it makes a lot more sense compared to here in Iowa where we're just sitting in the middle of the plains. So. Right. Yeah. Nothing wrong with 60s and sunny and dry, though, for Iowa this week. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. Good forecast, mm -hmm. Dylan. <laughs> Wetter weather is finally here, and I hope it's here to stay I hope as it's, well. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on Side Dive. Feel free to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and check out all of our videos on YouTube as well. We will see you back here on Thursday for your next forecast. Have a good night. Go Cubs. <laughs> Can I get that in? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you.